studio with us, we have special guest producer, director, Bobby Huntley. Um, first of all, thank you so much for being here. I um, definitely appreciate it. Now, you just released, um, or you know, you have a trailer out, Pam and Tommy is a whole spin. I wanna really dive into it. But before we dive into it, I want us to take a look at this clip. Let's take a look. It's Pam. Pamela James. Girl, you have got to tell me about your night last night. <sighs> Same mess. Time and time again. What the fuck? It's crazy, man. It's like women after women. Draws after draws, dog. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't give up so easily, Pam. Huh. You never know. You might find something that's forever. Like me and my Martin. Like Martin? You know what? I'm worried about her. I want to see her with someone special. She deserves that. I'm the love, Dr. Tommy. All right. <laughs> Sometimes love is right where you never expect it. Sometimes love's in your face. You know what, Pam? Search our whole life looking for a friend. Soulmate. But Tommy, we can't do this. We're friends. But what if we gain so much more? No. <sighs> we can't tell Martin and Gina about this. Is something different? Nope. Are you sure? Yep. Something is up. I know when my girl is hiding something from me. Tommy, what are you doing here? came to bring you see. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm happy for you, Pam, but what about Cole? Girl, so what? Everybody hates Cole. You better, I'm telling you, you better. Gray's not so bad. You gotta figure out a way to tell him. Everybody better be Girl, something is wrong. Get out of my face! Where you put your ass up, Cole? Do you even know if Tommy has a job? What does he do for a living? Why can't you ever tell me the truth, Tommy? Look, Pam, and we don't need to know everything. Then I can't trust you. What are we doing? Do you know how exhausting it is for everybody to see me as a joke? I'm sick of this shit. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh! I don't know what he's gonna do, Pam. Crazy. You're crazy! Season five, Tommy. What the fuck does this even mean? We boys, right? We always gonna be boys. Now, before we dive into it, you're like hiding your face. Before we dive, no, it's great, it's great. Before we dive into the interview, I want to just get everybody's um, reaction. Vanessa, I kind of hear you, so I'll start with you. What, what are your thoughts or reactions after after seeing the clip? Um, I loved it. My husband had showed it to me um, the other day, and I was a cracking up because I thought it was such a cute angle to come from, and it, it kept such a comedic um, light to it or yeah. whatever, where he coming out murdering with the caw 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 like coming out from the you dig. So, and it had all the cuteness of um, the things from Martin. Didn't it have some of the actual lines yeah. from Martin, the, some of the things they actually said, but it was slowed down and eerie. He even added the little shop of whores that the real Tashina Arnold and um, and, Tisha and, and, and Tisha Campbell were in, yeah. which I love that, that movie. And uh, anywho, it was just very thoughtful, super funny, and I just, I love the levity to it. Like it got dark, but it still had the levity, you Absolutely. know, so I, I really enjoyed it. Pierre, I want to get your thoughts. What, what's your reactions and thoughts after seeing that trailer? Well, first of all, I totally agree with what Vanessa just said. I'm like, yeah, it has a lot of uh, situations in that make you think like, am I watching Martin? But then I'm not watching Martin. And it's, watching. it's like a roller coaster of emotions to see and stuff. Um, I love it. I love the fact that they're taking a lot of these funny sitcoms or movies and changing them into some dramatic. And, you know, you, know, you get to see Tommy in a whole different light. I want to know, can they do bath like that? And me and Halle Berry, I get a little some of that Halle Berry Berry juice. You know that Halle Berry juice? I, come on, you know what I'm saying? Can Nisi and Ali get together for baths 
the the, the drama. Come on, let me get a little. <laughs> well, well, we'll have to put that. We'll have to put that in Bobby's chamber. Then we'll have right. to we'll have to put that. Now I, I want to ask, what what inspired you to, to to do a dramatic spinoff of Martin? Wow. So um, my mind is always constantly going. It's crazy in there. But um, essentially, you know, social media, there's this great show on Hulu called Pam and Tommy about Pamela Anderson and, and Tommy Lee. And, you know, I'm watching it and enjoying it. And I'm seeing like a lot of the black people, they're like, who's this Pam and Tommy? We don't know them. The only Pam and Tommy we know is from Martin. Right. So, of course, my mind went click mm -hmm. and uh, I just started the groundwork. You know, I, I aroused up my crew, my um, executive producers, LeVon White. One of my producers, Eric Ravon, sitting right there. And, you know, we got the team together and we just made it happen, knocked it out in like a week. Wow. Sounds good for you. Wow, that, that's that definitely was... amazing. Now, you know, we're, we're now seeing, um, you know, Bel Air kind of, you know, did a spinoff and they have a show running as well. And I know they released a trailer back in 2019. Did you find any inspiration, you know, from that trailer for this one? Wow, shout out to Morgan Cooper. Like what he's done is just amazing. He set the bar so high. Um, and just to also see, the possibility of the industry respecting the, the talent and the gift and the grind and reaching out. Right. You know, that's so important to see. Um, I've been a filmmaker since I was 10 years old. Wow. I've um, started, you know, watching Mad TV. Shout out to uh, Jordan Peele and, you know, <laughs> SNL and recreating their skits and their things like that. So the aspect of taking known pieces and doing spins on them. I've pretty much been doing that since I was 10. Right. And my first foray on the public landscape was back in uh, 2015. I did the pitch trailer for the new edition movie. And that is what got the oh, will spin it. Thank you. That's so awesome. for, for the BET movie that came out two years later. Oh, cool. So awesome. saying all that to say, you know, this has been my life, you right, know, yeah. for several years, you know what I'm saying? I have several other trailers and things that I've done since then. That's uh, along those lines. So, yeah. Absolutely, no. That that is yeah. amazing so to hear. So thank you for yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So along with my short films and my feature films, this is something that I like to do. Pretty much, it's like I do one every year at this point now, just to kind of like, because it's like how I flex my muscle a little bit. Right. Yeah. Just have fun. We just get a team of people together. It's fun to try to find people that look like somebody or sound like them. And I want to look say, like Bobby. Who I look like? I want to be in some Bobby. No, I was gonna say watching that, I did have to like double take a couple times. I was like, wait, Tom, wait, because I, the you Gina know, like, one. Yeah, yeah, like it was, it was a couple times. Like I had to like recollect in my mind, like, wait, you know, this isn't the, you know, the the actual actors. Um, so you did a great job casting. Shout out sure. to my cast because Yay. it's like for them to trust this zaniness in my head and trust me and like we'll just do it. We'll go all in and yeah. we just had so much fun and we like legit became a family and it's like every day we in a group text just talking and That's loving awesome. on each other and it's shout out to them. That's awesome. The has anyone has anyone from um, the original show you know shared a response or or reached out or said anything? Um, after this. Yes, and that is the first time that that has happened to me. Really? Yeah. Are you able to share who right, or, like, what, or at least what was said or not, you know, what that did for you? Not yet, not yet. Okay. But there, there's talks happening now. And, and, you know, and that just means the world to me, like, you know, just, just to talk and say, you know, right. what they said. Absolutely. <laughs> so talks are talking. Yeah. Now, you know, with with films and things like that, you know, comes investments and, and those types of things. So, you know, did you have, you know, a certain type of strategy to attract investments as you're, you know, thinking through this or as you were building this out? So so that is part of my overall strategy overall. So with me doing these, I guess, viral short films, viral pieces that I've been doing the past several years, yeah. I use that. At, I use it for several different reasons. Um, the main thing I use it for is, of course, to build a buzz, build my name and all of that, because you got to keep the public talking, got to keep the, the hype going. And then also to attract investors for my films, my short films, my projects and my branding. So it definitely helps along the, the lines of that. And then, you know, if there's a situation where something like this on a bigger scale, the Pam and Tommy or another project, you know, there's a possibility they want to make it something bigger, or add more to it. That could be part of the conversation too, but I use that to parlay into my own films as well. Awesome. Now, speaking of this one in particular, because I, I know you have, I know you have a lot of them, and I definitely don't want to. This one saying that this one overshines those. You're amazing at what you do. I've seen your work. Um, what's your goal for for this project when you're thinking about, you know, the end goal for this one? Because I know sometimes, you know, like you said, it's to just, you know, keep your name and just kind of keep people talking. But do you have a particular goal for this one? You know what? My agreement with God is just do the work and leave it up to Him. Mm. You know, uh, the response from the public has been 
bananas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like the industry's paying attention, the people are paying attention. I leave that up to them to figure that out. And, you know, I just focus on the work. Literally, what's the next thing I'm doing? What's this next script? Da, 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 da. That's pretty much how I, I manage because it puts you in a position of like waiting for permission, right. which I never okay. want to do. I'm a creative. I like to create. I'm always three, four, five projects ahead. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Absolutely. Are, do you have any other um, projects in mind, you know, for the, for the future? Oh, plenty. I have five uh, feature films in development now. You know what I'm saying? We're always going, we're always pushing and, you know, welcoming all investors, executive producers, producers who want to join us, you know, on our journey, you know, ranging from musicals, comedy, sci-fi, drama, thriller, horror. I'm enjoying all those things. I like to mix it all up. So Bobby Huntley Films, we're making it happen. Now, before we head out, I want to make sure I open the floor up um, to both Pierre and Vanessa to ask you some questions before you head out. So Pierre, I'll come to you first. If there's any questions, thoughts, concerns, or anything that you want to um, ask of Bobby, I'll give you the floor. So let me ask you, uh, Bobby, why did you choose to use, you know, the relationship between um, Tommy and Pam instead of Martin and Gina? I do. That's a good question. I'm going to ask that. Got gotcha. you. So, of course, you know, tying in the Hulu show of, of uh, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee, like, of course, black people's like, the only Pam and Tommy we know is from Martin. That aspect of the Martin show, Pam and Tommy's relationship, like, I, I was, like, really young when that show was on, and my earliest memory was the scene with Gina on the couch when she finds out about it. So that was like the first time that I r recognized on TV suspense and comedy and building a moment on top of a moment on top of a moment and just seeing their genius and how they built that. So I, just to be able to like take that moment and all of the, 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 the actual storyline between Tommy and Pam and I loved their relationship, however how short it was, their relationship was just it was grown, it was sexy, it was beautiful, it was all this and that it was complicated. So, it, you know, just just the, the talent that was on that show, just to pay homage to them. And especially Tisha Campbell and Tashina Arnold, their, their comedic genius as comedic actresses is like unparalleled. And, you know, so, and rest in peace, Tommy Ford, like, come on. Like, it's just, it was just amazing to be able to showcase that relationship. Because everybody knows Martin and Gina, Backwards and forwards. Right, right. I wanted to right. see, I wanted to show some love to okay. uh, Tommy and Pam. Absolutely. Um, now, Vanessa, I want to open up the floor to you as well. Do you have any questions or anything that you want to want to add to that? Yeah, I was just seeing like all the similarities to the to the real show. I love seeing like Big Shirley walk through there. Yeah. Um, I thought wasn't that Big Shirley? Yeah, shout out to Andre. Yeah, beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> she was beautiful because I didn't never picture Big Shirley looking that fine. All right. Um, but uh, even the actors that you picked to play Carl Payne, I loved. Um, uh, 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 who you picked for Cole, you know what I mean, yeah. or whatever. So, they dig, they dig. Yay. And so I also thought, and I think I said that, but did you have actual um, content from the show, like actual um, scripts, like actual lines from the original show put into your remake? Because it felt like it. Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, there were certain key moments and phrases and lines that we did. We remixed certain things. I, I wanted to interweave, especially for the major, not only Martin fans, but... The, the fans of all the actors, all the individual movies and things, even outside of the show, I referenced in the show. Mm -hmm. Like when um, Cole stabs the cake, that's from a thin line between love and hate. Oh, you okay, know, okay, okay, okay. Uh, lines from The Little Shop of Horrors is interwoven yeah. through the song. There's even an Everybody Hates Chris reference with Tashina Arnold. So when the Pam character is like, so what, everybody hates Cole, we cut to a shot where they're laughing. At, so that's pretty much a shot for shot of mm -hmm. recreation of Everybody Hates Chris. So yeah. there's a lot of... I personally can't wait for somebody to do a video about the video, about all the different references and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of hidden gems in this piece. So that was very fun to try to interweave everything together. You Absolutely. Great it, job. it just shows how genius you are. So thank oh. you so much. We, we definitely appreciate you sharing your art, you know, in this form and being able to have things like this for us. I think it's going to live forever. And I'm super excited to see what comes of it. Yeah, we did it for the culture. We did it for y'all and mine, you know, just keeping creativity going. You know us. We love to mix and stew and do all this stuff. Ain't nothing new. <laughs> Absolutely. And how can people keep up with you? I know you mentioned it earlier, but just to kind of, you know, just to double hand on it. How can people keep up with you or follow you and, you know, watch your, your other trailers? Got you. Uh, B Huntley Films on Instagram and Twitter. Bobby Huntley Films, my website. So look forward to seeing you all and talking with all of you. God bless. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for joining us and thank you all for chiming in on this one. You heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. What are your thoughts of the remake of Pam and Tommy? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Put it in the comments. Caw -caw!
What's up, y'all? This is your boy, K-Rob. And for years, you come to us to get the latest news in comedy and for your favorite comedians. Now you come to us for even more news in the world of sports, music, and pop culture. We're bringing you some of our classic shows you love, like Unforgotten, the Comedy Hype News Show, and more of our one-on-one -on -one interviews. We're more than just laughs. We're the culture, the leaders in truth, and, well, your streamer just got a little more blacker. Welcome to Hype Plus.